click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the fundamental data structures that are extensively used by an operating system. They may use as array, linked list, tag, queue, trees and hash maps. Array is a sequential data structure where we can access the element directly. We can fetch the element directly from an array. The array element is addressed as an item number into item size. If an element has containing more than one byte, then multiple bytes can be allocated to one element. But what if the size vary and if we want to remove an item of the remaining item be previously diagnosed? Then we can use list as a solution. What is the size of the element may vary and the relative positions of the remaining items must be preserved. Then we can use list as a solution. A list is a sequential directly ordered access of memory where we can access an element in a list sequentially. This allows us to use a variable size item to be placed in a list and inserting and removing an item is much more easier than an array. The most common method for implementing this list is a linked list. The linked list is of three types. One is a single linked list where an item points to its successor and the last item points to the null. Second is the doubly linked list when an item is points to the predecessor as well as the successor and the last item the successor points to the null. And the third one is circular linked list in which the last item instead of pointing to the null points to the reversely first item. One potential disadvantage of using this linked list is the searching element the comparison is big O of n. That is, we have to search all the n elements in the worst case if we want to fetch an element. Linked list can be fundamentally used for some kernel mode array structure algorithms, but they can be used to get more fundamental structures such as stack and queues. Stack is a sequential data structure orderly known as LIFO principles, Lurstein first out. That is, the last item to get added is the first item to get removed. The insertion and deletion of the items from the stack is known as push and pop. We push an item and pop it back to get retrieved. The stack is used when the function is get called. The parameters, the local variables all are pushed to the stack at the time of a function call. And when returning from that function call, these items are pops off back from the stack. Another example in contrast of a sequential order data structure is a queue which uses FIFO principle, first in first out. The first item to be added is the first item to get removed. That is more like a queue structure we maintain while standing in a queue for a cinematic case or some other cases. In operating system, jobs are sent to the printers are done in a queue order where the jobs get first to be submitted is the first one to get printed. The another data structure is a tree, which is a hierarchical tree structure. Data values are linked in a tree through a child and parent relationship. A parent can have an unlimited number of child or children. In a binary search tree or in a binary tree, there is at most two children to a parent. In a binary search tree, there is one more additional requirement that the left child is always less than equals to the right child. But in worst case, the searching algorithm in a binary search tree is big O of n. We can reduce this instruction cycle by applying a balanced binary search tree. This tree containing an n tree items can have at most log n levels, thus reducing the worst case scenario to be go of log n. This tree structure can use in a CPU scheduling algorithm very much efficiently. Another type of data structure is a hash map. And hash function takes the data as input, 
performs a numerical operation on it and use this result as a pointer to a table where the result is to be stored. This hash function is used to hash the data where altogether an actual data is not used, the result or the key is used to retrieve the data from that table. We can reduce the size up and speed up ratio from O of n to big O of 1 in a hash map, implementing on the depending details. One potential design advantage in this hash function is that two inputs can result in one output, that numerical operations on any input can result in one output, and this can lead to a stored difficulty in a table. So we maintain a linked list in a table that all the data which have same result. These are known as hash collisions. As there are many hash collisions, the hash table become less efficient. One use of a hash function is use the hash mapping. The key and pair, the key and element in this pair is used to map the values. Suppose the key operating is mapped to the value system. This way a hash map can be performed. For an example, a user and a password is a hash map pair. First the user is key and the password is the value. First it, the mapping is established. Then when the user is logging in, the user is giving his username and written as a password. Then the user acts as a key and the password is given searching for a value. If the given password and the password written matched, then the user is get authenticated. This way hash map can be performed. These are all the data structure fundamentally used in an operating system. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.